Hi, I'm Andrew Hurst. I'm a geologist and professor of production geoscience at the University of Aberdeen's Department of Geology and Petroleum Geology. I'm one of the three co-founders of the Fabric of the Land Art Exhibition. Common ground between art and geology is the necessity of making observations, observations that record what we see, whether to create beauty in art or whether to record science by making uh, observations on the same materials. The artwork which is shown here is a demonstration of how the artist has created work by transforming what's present on the surface of the earth, which in this case uh, records unevenness, and also fossil material, which is recorded in this example and this example, and then reconstituted this into a beautiful image. This is a totally different thing than the geologists would do with the same material. Observation is a key skill in geological science and it allows us to characterise and understand how the planet Earth has formed. And what I find fascinating as a geologist is how artists can look at the very same material that I work on. And in this particular picture, the artist has taken a geological map and has created art by abstracting parts of that map into a two-dimensional media which creates a beautiful image, as opposed to just a useful image. One of the key characteristics of the Fabric of the Land exhibition is that we choose to do this in the middle of an active working geology department at a time of the year when it's usually rather quiet. For that reason, we choose to evacuate a laboratory and convert it into an art exhibition and the transformation of the laboratory with all its microscopes and all its equipment into an art gallery has actually become a key uh, characteristic of the exhibition itself. It's not just about the art, it's about creating the art in the centre of a working geology department. The University of Aberdeen and Aberdeen in general are great locations for an art exhibition such as Fabric of the Land. We have a huge captive audience, we have professionals associated with the oil industry and engineering, geological industry, we have a large amateur uh, group which is practicing geology in, a, in their free time, and we have a long tradition of academic research and teaching at the university which dates back almost to the start of the 19th century. Aberdeen is indeed a great place to study geology and to do research and education. We have a fantastic record of placing our graduates in a whole range of different industries and predominantly today in the oil industry. The geology department in Aberdeen is actually bigger than it's ever been. We have a huge number of overseas and UK students and particularly Scottish students who graduate here every year. I was first attracted to geology uh, by a hint from my school day chemistry master who was determined to keep me out of the chemistry labs I think and he thought I'd enjoy being in the great outdoors looking at rocks and of course starting to learn about geology you think you're onto a good thing but in fact when you've been doing it a few more years you realise it's absolutely fantastic. It's a great privilege to be a geologist and it's a great privilege to be involved in research and education in this department in Aberdeen. I can only say to young people, if you have as much fun as I've had for the last 30 odd years doing a profession, you'll be a lucky person. It's a considerable surprise to me and to my co-founders of Fabric of the Land that the art exhibition has been the success that it obviously has. Several thousand visitors will have come into the geology department at what is a quiet part of the academic year and visited the exhibition uh, during the three years we've held it. The concept of Fabric of the Land appears to be attractive to artists and laymen and scientists alike and we hope that this might form the, uh, a cornerstone possibly for a, a broader uh, multimedia, visual arts type of celebration that can be held annually at the University of Aberdeen. So from its humble beginnings, which was uh, around a curry 
in an Aberdeen restaurant as we were discussing things to do with our time, uh, we've actually come up with something that appears to have a, a UK national and international resonance. We think that the concept can be exported to overseas universities and we've had some interest now from North American universities who see this as a, a unique form of outreach into their communities and if they ask us we will be certainly happy to help them get there.